walking around looking like animals when their knuckles are touching the ground. You're like, what's going on? It's being called the deadliest drug threat in the U.S. Everybody was dying. Everybody just started, like, just dying. A lethal combination. Animal sedatives laced into street drugs. Close to 50% of our overdoses have Xylazine you now. Turning users into the walking dead. Trank puts you straight to sleep. It's nothing like heroin and it destroys your body. It's the drug itself which is causing necrosis. It's causing the skin to die. Now it's infiltrating our area. Have you heard of any Trank being in the dope in New York City? Absolutely, yeah. Xylazine is dangerous, is deadly, it is here. This just happened to be a one-time thing for her. And it killed her. Mary Murphy with a Pix11 News special. Trank, the zombie effect. An animal tranquilizer that knocks out horses is knocking out humans and sometimes killing them. I'm Mary Murphy in the Bronx with an in-depth look at Trank. Doctors call it xylazine. There are drug mills here that are mixing Trank with fentanyl and cocaine and moving the doses out to other cities. Xylazine has now been found in 48 out of 50 states, prompting the Drug Enforcement Administration to issue a public safety alert. Only two states remain Trank free, South Dakota and Wyoming. Our journey started in the city of brotherly love, and what we found here was alarming. Trank now mixed into 90% of Philadelphia's fentanyl and heroin supply, drugs that drive up the fatal overdose rates. It causes sort of pulmonary um, impairment, um, sedated breathing, impairment in your heart functioning. What happens is people can almost suffocate if you're not paying attention to them. People are also developing open wounds, and their limbs sometimes have to be amputated. This city now the epicenter of this scourge. Unfortunately, we have one of the biggest open air drug markets on the East Coast. There are very strong drugs here in Kensington. Under the elevated train along Kensington Avenue in Philadelphia. It's sad. Like when you go up to somebody. The last two months, you see this get worse, worse. 33 year old Mike has a needle in his pocket and apparent gangrene on his leg. You got to get on some kind of antibiotics, buddy. Since we're from Philadelphia, we run into people we know. There's so many individuals out here that have lost their limbs. Yeah. I know. <laughs> The sores blamed on the horse and cow tranquilizer xylazine, known as Trank. You want to go to a hospital? You want to go there now? Because I can take you there. When Trank is mixed with the man-made opioid fentanyl. It's made, made a deadly drug crisis far worse. Special Agent Patrick Trainer has worked for the Drug Enforcement Administration in Philadelphia for 25 years. We noticed that xylazine was being used as an, uh, as an adulterant Users like Art El Malik noticed the color of the dope was different and much more. You'd see people kind of like walking around looking like animals when their knuckles are touching the ground. The fentanyl doesn't have a very long lasting effect. Adding a horse tranquilizer, something more sedating, makes it feel like it lasts longer. But xylazine and fentanyl both suppress the heart rate and breathing. And everybody just started like is dying like nobody knew that it was that strong it's a sedative it's it's not an opioid so the narcan has a little effect on it the dea says between 2020 and 2021 the presence of xylazine in overdose deaths increased more than a thousand percent in the south 750 percent out west 500 percent in the midwest and more than 100% in the Northeast. We are tracking xylazine across the United States, and there is no question that it is an increasing threat. For more than 50 years, xylazine was regulated by the Food and Drug Administration for veterinary use, but heroin users began experimenting. Down here in Puerto Rico, we, we have been seeing xylazine for a long, long time. We noticed that around 2003, it would extend the high. The ulcers here were pretty bad. The animal drug actually reached Philly by 2006. Xylazine's deadly reach has extended across Pennsylvania to places like Hostetter here in the western part of the state, where a young mom was found dead in December from a lethal mix of xylazine and fentanyl, along with other drugs. She's a really good person. All she wanted to do was help people. 
Deanna Posca, a mother of two boys, had recently finished her fourth stint in rehab for heroin addiction. She was clean for four months. You know, she came home from the rehab and felt good about life. But she relapsed in a house that coal miners once used, the xylazine level high in her body. It was larger than what we normally see in a lot of the toxicology reports that come back. Definitely a strong contributing factor. The coroner of Westmoreland County told us half of the overdose deaths this year involve xylazine. This year, we're right now we have 15 confirmed overdoses and eight of them, uh, unfortunately, have xylazine in them. Detective Justin Scalzo of the Greensburg Police Department says he's also seen a different animal drug tainting the street supply. We started seeing car fentanyl uh, come into the area, which is commonly used to, as an elephant tranquilizer. The people mixing this aren't rocket scientists, right? These are street dealers that are mixing it. They are cutting their product to make it more powerful. I think it's going to be a potential problem for all the areas across the region. Generally, these things get the area in waves. Deanna Posca's death featured on a bill board with warnings about the most lethal drug around. Yet the people who made and delivered a fatal dose of xylazine and fentanyl to her were never held accountable. I hope they rot in hell. The trank puts you straight to sleep. There's nothing like heroin and it destroys your body. A boom health van parks daily near Ivy drug users sleeping under the Grand Concourse. You need wound care or anything like that? We come here every day. We're stationed here at uh, Kingsbridge Road. What we have are basic untreated wound care issues. So we bring wound care kits with us. God bless. I'm seeing a lot of infections, pus running out their arms. Skin ulcers associated with xylazine, the animal tranquilizer called Trank. It's the drug itself which is causing necrosis. It's causing the skin to die. Dr. Rafael Toruaya says he was studying for his PhD in New York City 15 years ago when he encountered Trank users in the South Bronx who were flown here from towns in Puerto Rico. The mayor would purchase their ticket and send them to, to either New York, to Texas, to Philadelphia, right? So that's called perfing. And we were trying to warn this is happening. Years later, in the middle of the COVID pandemic, city doctors began to notice a disturbing trend. In 2021, about 19% of fatal overdoses that involved opioids also had xylazine present. It would extend the high. It does extend the high. IV drug users are now allowed to test their samples at this harm reduction site. Every time I find dope that has horse tranquilizer in it, I tell everybody around and don't use that and tell people not to buy that stuff. The New York City Health Department issuing an advisory last November warning medical providers about xylazine mixed into fentanyl, the deadly opioid. They may remain sedated for longer after the overdose event. And while there's always speculation about why the drug supply changes. You have um, glycine bags that contain both fentanyl and xylazine. Frank Tarantino, special agent in charge of the Drug Enforcement Administration in New York, says the reason is simple. This is a half a trillion dollar a year business, so this is about making more money and this is about increasing their customer base. These drug traffickers are obtaining xylazine on the internet. Um, they're getting it through pet supply stores or veterinary clinics online. In November 2014, when heroin was the scourge, before most of us ever heard of lab made fentanyl, we explained that New York City is the hub for drugs coming into the Northeast. Fentanyl is still the greatest drug threat that we face today in the United States, but when we mix xylazine in with fentanyl, this drug threat becomes even more dangerous. Tarantino took us to the DEA lab where kilos are tested. The lab will handle exhibits all the way from Vermont down to Philadelphia. And you're seeing xylazine in with the fentanyl in from most of these places? Yes, in fact, 15% of the exhibits examined in the second quarter of this year have xylazine in them. And you're looking right here at something that's being analyzed with your chemist, right? That's right. He's looking at a pie chart right now to determine the different types of 
cutting agents and, and you know different properties in the particular exhibit. Another chemist used special fluids to check the drugs. And this particular stamp has a emoji of somebody coughing and it says sick call on it. You have look-alike or what we call fake fentanyl pills that have xylazine mixed in it. This is what we refer to as M30s or oxys. For seven cents that pill can be made in Mexico and then sold on our city streets anywhere from $7 up to $30. We're on Wallace Avenue in the Bronx. The special narcotics prosecutor told us that after 100 people overdosed in a single weekend in Berks County, Pennsylvania, on a mixture of fentanyl and xylazine, the source of the bad batch was traced back to a drug mill that was located inside this nice apartment building and to two other locations in the Bronx. I would say that New York City is our primary source city of drugs in the city of Reading. Hello, everybody. And Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer sounded alarm bells in upstate New York after 40 people overdosed in Syracuse from a mix of xylazine and fentanyl. And that is turning the opioid crisis here in the capital region into a complete nightmare. A federal and city task force found 20 kilos of fentanyl, some with xylazine, stashed in this Cube Smart storage facility in Jamaica, Queens. One of the most um, alarming trends that I've seen is this mixture of cocaine, fentanyl, and xylazine. The trend in the Northeast is only spreading. When we start to see xylazine increasingly mixed in with all of our different illicit drugs, that is also like a tidal wave moving across the country. Next, how Trank is serving a dual purpose for drug distributors and the dangerous threat it poses. Welcome back to this PIX11 news special, Trank, the zombie effect. Xylazine, the horse tranquilizer known as Trank, serves multiple purposes for drug distributors. It's being added to the fentanyl supply to increase the amount of product and also to enhance the high. Fentanyl, the opioid that kills so quickly, exploded into the street supply about a decade ago. A viral video from 2013 looked at Staten Island's obsession with oxycodone pills. But the young woman who played the blue fairy died three years later. Sharissa Turk was eight months pregnant a victim of the fentanyl wave, just like music icon Prince and rap star Mac Miller. I remember, yes, I remember, yes, I remember it all. <laughs> EMTs could not keep up with the overdoses. Well, a little seven-year-old called us saying my mommy's dying, and she overdosed. Danny Latterman of Ramsey, New Jersey, was one of the earliest local fentanyl victims in February 2014. And I said, why? Why? I can't understand why. The dealer was Darius Kahari, father of Danny's football teammate. His son was the captain of the football team. Fentanyl, a man-made opioid produced in a lab, was a much cheaper version of heroin and drove U.S. overdose deaths to historic levels. The total hitting more than 107,000 people dead between August 2021 and August 2022. Fentanyl moves through the body very, very quickly, and that's partly why it's so deadly. People get knocked out. My two parents are on the floor. Uh, my sister says they're not waking up. It was shocking to hear this 911 call made by a 13-year-old boy in Ohio as he got ready for school. The teen stepdad, an airline pilot, both parents poisoned by fentanyl. Narcan became a game changer the nasal spray able to reverse a potentially fatal overdose in seconds. <laughs> Yet xylazine is changing the game again, a sedative that doesn't respond to Narcan. They call it caballo, anesthesia de caballo. Horse anesthesia, meant to mimic the warm, fuzzy feeling of heroin, which has now virtually disappeared from the street supply, replaced by fentanyl. A mixture of trank and fentanyl is now considered the deadliest drug threat of our time. Coming up, the effort to target foreign companies that market fentanyl. You're watching a PIX11 news special, Trank, the zombie effect. All of the recent warnings about the animal tranquilizer xylazine are attached to mixing it with fentanyl, considered the deadliest drug of our time. 
The White House has officially designated the mix an emerging threat in the United States. And the U.S. Attorney General recently announced new efforts to target the financial accounts of Mexican and Chinese companies that market fentanyl. If I want to buy Xylazine now, I go on a website that's in China, I order it, I make payment, and it gets delivered to my house or my P.O. box. Derek Maltz, who worked for decades at the Drug Enforcement Administration, wasn't mincing words at a congressional hearing about Chinese criminal networks selling chemicals from Mexico and others to make fentanyl and xylazine, known as Trank. Criminal networks that have been doing a bombing campaign on our country with synthetic drugs. They need to be held accountable, even if it means using our U.S. military. Maltz once led special operations for the DEA when cartel boss El Chapo was captured in Mexico. El Chapo flown to the U.S. and convicted in Brooklyn Federal Court in 2019. This conviction is a victory for every family who has lost a loved one to the black hole of addiction. El Chapo's son Ovidio, called the biggest trafficker of fentanyl, captured later that year by Mexican forces in the northern city of Culiacan. But the Sinaloa cartel responded with machine gun fire that overpowered the military, with soldiers' families targeted. The Mexican president actually released Ovidio Guzman back then. But El Chapo's son was captured again this past January, several days before U.S. President Joe Biden paid a visit to Mexico. The U.S. mail has been a vehicle to get fentanyl and xylazine into homes and drug mills. So the drug traffickers, the Mexican cartels specifically, are using the mail delivery systems across the United States to, again, move their products. In 2018, we visited the JFK mail facility. Sometimes upwards of 800,000 packages uh, arrive at JFK every day through the mail facility. We can't possibly look at all 800,000 packages. A laser was used to scan packages for fentanyl. This is showing up as furanyl fentanyl. The drug uh, organizations realize that if they send smaller shipments, there's a greater possibility of it get getting through. Here's the problem. The illicit fentanyl is what we need to focus on, and that's coming out of Chinese chemical labs, okay? And they want to destroy us. So FDA can go ahead and say whatever they want. It's not to stop uh, the Chinese criminals from dumping this poison into America. In the early days of fentanyl getting into the tri-state, when Danny Latterman bought a deadly dose from the father of a fellow football player, the DEA learned suspect Darius Gahari was dealing with Chinese and Canadian fentanyl dealers. Now some of the precursor chemicals are coming from India. It's being made illicitly in labs in China and other countries, and it's being sold to these traffickers on the streets that are now buying it as, as, as little as $1 a kilogram. When we come back, some final thoughts on the impact of this deadly drug combination. Welcome back to this PIX11 News Special, Trank, the Zombie Effect. Xylazine, or Trank, was never meant for human consumption. And when it's mixed with fentanyl, an opioid, the outcome can be deadly. Opioids are highly addictive. They trigger the release of feel-good endorphins. We leave you tonight with the people most impacted by Trank and fentanyl, a grieving family, and the people who can't stop using the drugs. This whole other world. So why did you end up coming up to Philadelphia? My mother died of uh, coronavirus. In the shadow of Philadelphia's free library and the elevated train along Kensington Avenue, we heard Sean Anderson's opioid story. How did you get into the heroin? My mother gave me a first bag of dope. Your mother? Yeah, mom. I was sick from uh, taking pills. I had a hernia operation, and uh, she gave me pills because I was sick one time. And she gave me a bag of dope. So. Anderson is now doubly addicted to the animal tranquilizer xylazine, known as Trank, and fentanyl, America's scourge. He's trying to get off fentanyl. I'm on Suboxone, and Suboxone don't take care of Trank, you know what I mean? So I still use. Art L. Malik also wants to stop using fentanyl. They give you a shot once a month, and it lasts for the 30 days or whatever. And um, it, it helps with the cravings, 
somewhat, but there's a lot more to it. There's no shot to try and get off Trank. Did you come close to losing a limb? Yeah, actually, um, both of my arms had completely, um, I could actually see the muscles. Beyond the dangerous, unsightly ulcers caused by Trank. Mike, you're going to lose your leg, you know that, right? The animal drug suppresses breathing and the heart rate, especially when added to fentanyl. Because of how it impairs the breathing function and your lung function, that sort of enhances the opportunity for death. It is now spread into multiple neighborhoods across the city, so it's, it's really... Um, too difficult to, to ignore or to minimize um, or take off the radar, if you will. The harm reduction community is on alert. It's probably our biggest fear right now. Mixed into the drug supply across America, 31-year-old Deanna Posca got a lethal dose in western Pennsylvania. She had no skin ulcers. No, she didn't have any of that. This just happened to be a one-time thing for her, and it killed her. Deanna left behind two sons who are living with their maternal grandparents. I hope to teach them the awareness. We don't shy away from the drug discussion. The only way I can say to curb it is knowledge. Deanna's mother recalled her daughter dabbling with pain pills in high school. Pills are what led to the heroin, yes. Deanna married at 19 and eventually lost custody of her boys. She tried to get clean in four rehabs, but fentanyl kept its grip on her. A huge billboard in her hometown now warns of the drug's toll. She wanted to be a counselor at a rehabilitation center. She wanted to help others get through it. Uh, every time she was in her sober spells, she wanted to be part of the solution. It's all a matter of choices at the very beginning. It is a disease, absolutely, but it starts with a choice. Thank you for joining us for this PIX11 News Special. I'm Mary Murphy. Good night.